Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Muna Shibel and I'm a manifestation and soul realignment coach. My channel is geared towards helping you reach your highest potential so that you can live and experience the extraordinary life that is your birthright. In today's video, I want to talk about why you should not do tarot readings when you are working on manifesting a desire. But before we get started, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon in order to receive a notification anytime I upload a new video. I also want you to know that I have a TikTok channel in which I post daily short videos, advice and whatnot. So please do check out my TikTok. The link is in the description below. I do also share shorts on YouTube. However, my TikTok always has more because it's not just limited to 60 seconds. So I'm able to elaborate more on certain things. So definitely do check out my TikTok. So let's get started. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about tarot readings and why you should not do tarot readings when you are trying to manifest. Of course, there are no hard rules. This is just my suggestion. Take what resonates, but I'm going to be telling you how tarot reading fits in with manifestation and how it can sometimes prolong the manifestation and how sometimes it can stand in your way. When I say tarot reading, I mean any form of reading. It doesn't have to be through tarot only. What the psychic is doing is essentially tapping into a potential reality. The psychic is tapping into one potential reality. You have to understand that there are infinite possibilities for you. When a psychic is tapping into one reality, he or she is generally tapping into the most probable reality given where you've mostly focused. And if you've not been focused in a very positive way, they are tapping into not so much your most ideal reality. The first reason why you should not get a tarot reading, and probably the most important, is because you and your reality are one and the same. You're the one who determines where you are going. You're the one who decides and has conviction that this is your preferred route. When you are reaching out to a tarot reader or a psychic, you are not in your power. You are looking at 3D and trying to see where you're heading. You're kind of making a check on your progress, which is you being not in your power. You're questioning where you are. You're not in your power. When you're in your power, you're not questioning, you know. You're deciding, you're saying, this is the reality I'm on, and this is the timeline I'm on, and I'm not wavering on that. By getting a psychic reading, you are essentially giving away your power. That's the first thing. You can't be in your power and questioning what's going to happen next. You're the psychic. You're the one who decides. You're the one who says, this is what my reading is going to be like. You're not asking if that makes sense. So that's the first thing. Most important, in my opinion, you're not in your power. The second reason, usually you're getting a psychic reading to see where it is you're most likely to end up with respect to your desire. Am I gonna have my desire? Am I not going to have my desire? Am I gonna have all the money that I want? Am I gonna be with the person that I want? Am I gonna find love? All of these questions, you have desires and you're questioning where you stand with respect to them. Again, you're not in your power because you are the one who decides that you're going to get your desire. You're the one who decides. However, the psychic is essentially tapping into one potential reality, one. There are a multitude of ways in which you can experience your desire. And if you want to experience your desire in the highest form, it's only your higher mind who knows this. And there are a multitude of realities where you can actually experience that. The psychic is always reflecting where you've been mostly practiced. And if you are 
going to take this to heart, you might be giving up on what you want, or you might feel that it's still too out of reach because that's where you've been practiced. Now, of course, you can always take this as feedback to improve. The problem is you can get addicted to these readings because then you're always going to be checking, how have I been doing? How have I been doing? Which actually goes back to one important thing. In every moment, you have the opportunity to shift. And when you are asking for feedback, you're shifting into the reality where you don't have what you want very important to remember this. I also want to give you an example of one time I was with my friends in Turkey and we went to see a psychic and she did not speak English. She was Turkish and we had to get an interpreter who spoke French to come in and interpret for us. And I was speaking English with my friends. We were sitting on the side and we were speaking in a low voice. I was telling them about the passing of my grandmother many years ago and I was talking about how I dreamt that that was going to happen the same day it happened so I was telling them and I got extremely emotional telling my friends about it it was really to the point I choked up and I had to get out to take some fresh air because it, I really got super emotional when the time came for us to start our reading, I went back in. And of course we were doing it for fun. You know, we were just having fun. We were traveling and we thought it would be fun to do this. She <clears throat> immediately tapped in to the feelings I had in that moment. And she literally told me, there's something wrong with your grandmother. And of course we were all just we thought it was crazy. A skeptic would say, well, they heard you, but we were really sitting far away, they didn't hear. She tapped into what I was feeling in that moment. You know, everything is now. So even tapping into a memory, it's now. So when I was remembering the day that my grandmother passed away and all these emotions came up for me, she tapped into that. And she said, your grandmother, she literally said, your grandmother is not well. And then we said, no, no, this was many years ago. And we explained it to her. And she's like, oh, because she actually did not want to even tell us what's going on. Like she, she was scared to move forward with the reading because she tapped into that. And so this is always reflecting in this moment in time, this is what's happening. And so this is what a psychic is doing. And when you are reaching out to a psychic, you're generally not at your best because when you are at your best, when you are in your power, point number one, you are not going to a psychic. You're not going to a psychic. You're saying, I decide, I'm, I know it's happening. I'm not going to a psychic to confirm anything to me. I know it's happening. So you have to understand that anytime you are reaching out to a psychic, you are not in your power. So the second point is, it's going to reflect a less than ideal circumstance. That's the second thing. The third thing, there are some psychics out there who have the ability to tap into your grand vision. So irrespective of where you've been practiced, you might completely not have been practiced in your mental focus in your mental diet, in your state of being, but they are tapping into a grand vision, which represents a desire that is inevitably going to manifest. It's just about when you align with it. Now, of course, all desires can inevitably manifest. It's just how much you have fueled that desire. When you have fueled a desire so much, yet you have not aligned with it, it's only gonna take a moment for you to let go and allow that desire to manifest. The problem with this scenario is that sometimes you're just not aligned with it and for whatever reason, it's going to take you time. I mean, it could be something that manifests in one month. Or it could be something that manifests in five years. So one example, is this lady who once came up to do an interview with Lilu Mays, who used to have many videos. I don't know if she's still active, but anyway, the, she did an interview with this lady who kept being told by psychics that she's going to have a baby. And she was nearing 40 and did not have anyone in her life. Of course, that's always an assumption that you can, you can have a baby at any age. It's just what you believe to be the case. And so she was believing that 
her time is running out and she was reaching the age of 40 and she still did not have a partner and and she really really wanted to have a baby and they kept telling her you're going to have a baby you're going to have a baby and then she met someone and they got into a relationship and they were trying they were going to doctors and all kinds of things and at some point it took a toll on the relationship she was nearing 44 and she still did not have the baby and then at some point in time their marriage broke up and here i'm giving you rough numbers i don't have the exact numbers on the top of my head but i'm giving you an idea of what's going on she was just not aligning with the desire for whatever reason and probably i would say her biggest reason was feeling she does not have time that is 100 percent a reason why you someone would manifest not getting pregnant feeling they are running out of time this is all just an illusion. I don't care what science says. You can have a baby at 50, 55, 60, whatever the age is. You can have a baby at any age. And then at some point in time, she started to let go of the possibility that she's going to have a baby, although it made her super sad. Then one day she met someone and very quickly she got pregnant and she actually miscarried. She did not have the baby because you see, she still had that niggle within her. And then ultimately she did get pregnant at the age of 46. So it took her that long to manifest it. I don't want to tell you not to have that hope. The problem is when you hear it from multiple psychics, you're going to get your desire. It becomes hard for you to imagine a life where you don't have that desire. You get lost and that creates even more resistance it creates more resistance for you because you just can't imagine a life not having it. Whereas if you kind of just release that attachment and that stubbornness that this has to manifest because all these psychics have told me that, you can actually allow it to manifest faster. So if that woman maybe did not hear all these psychics tell her, though it did give her hope, it kind of caught her in this vicious cycle of being super attached to that outcome, which ultimately delayed her having what she wanted. So that's like really a strong one. I'm telling you this one, number three is a really strong one. You want to be careful and just be easy about it. I just suggest you don't do it at least for this reason, because the problem is it's going to manifest. It's just about you aligning with it. And when you're so attached and you're so stubborn and you're putting your life on hold because of it, you're delaying it. It's that simple. Point number four. We mentioned previously a psychic taps into your energy in that moment of time similar to what was what happened with my grandmother except my grandmother had already passed on but let's say you have a fear about something all they're going to do is fuel it now there are psychics out there who do not do that but still you want to be careful not to fuel a fear that you have because then if they tell you something that you are fearing and it's in your energy field you're fearing it it's they're going to tap into that and they might tell you that so you want to not have your fear be fuel. You can, if you decide to do psychic readings, you want to make sure you tell them you don't want to hear anything negative. You don't want to hear anything negative. Now you might say, well, then I'm being delusional. Yes, you need to be delusional. <laughs> do not fuel your fears because in the end, you always have the opportunity and the choice to turn things around and it's all a reflection of your state of being so when you're in a fearful place the last thing you want is to hear something coming from a psychic that's going to fuel your fear because you always have the opportunity to change the direction of your life you have free will you have free will you have you can decide well that's not going to be the trajectory of my life they might tell you you're going to have health problems because you're afraid you're going to get some health issues and so it's counterproductive to do this. The final reason, the fifth reason why you should avoid getting these readings done is because there are a lot of psychics out there that are just not the real thing. 
but there are people out there who just want to make an easy buck and they will always know what to tell you now of course there's nothing wrong in receiving feedback on a desire that you want and fueling it up the problem is going back to point one you're not in your power when you do this and then secondly sometimes they're just saying rubbish purely telling you what you want to hear and if you're not in alignment like they're not really giving you proper feedback i mean at the very least if you're gonna go to a psychic you want to go to someone who's reading where you stand at the very least get someone who's tapping into an actual potential reality that you can experience although i always tell you you get to choose you're the one who aligns with the timeline that you want they're just tapping into the most probable one so going into someone who's completely giving you blank words and telling you what you want to hear may not actually be giving you the most probable outcome there's one thing i want to tell you about psychic readings they can be addictive so they're like anything else where you need a pick me up like you know you go to the fridge and start eating everything in there to feel better. Psychic readings are similar to that. So you want to avoid getting addicted to that because as mentioned, it's always going to be placing you in a timeline where you don't have what you want. It's Yeah, it's boosting up your hope and you're feeling that you're close to it, but it could be any time from now to five, six years, as was the case with that lady I mentioned. So you want to not be in that place and if you are addicted to it you're gonna go to it again and again and again and again and then it's going to be a vicious cycle you're really not going to get out of that place where you're asking for feedback on something that only you can determine you're the one who aligns with it when you're doing a psychic reading you're not aligning with it if that makes sense i hope you like this video if you did then please do hit the thumbs up and I look forward to seeing you again in the next video.